until February 28, when Nigeria recorded its first case of the coronavirus, Sub-Saharan Africa had not been hit by the deadly virus. Subsequently, African countries such as Senegal, Cameroon, Togo, South Africa, Burkina Faso and DR Congo have all recorded cases of the virus. Currently, all countries that shared their borders with Ghana have recorded cases of the disease, with the latest being the Ivory Coast. Currently, over 118,000 cases have been recorded in the 114 countries affected. Following this development, the World Health Organization has declared the disease a pandemic. Inasmuch as the disease is alarmingly spreading across all nations, Ghana is yet to record any outbreak. The Health Service Directory says adequate measures are in place to tackle any eventuality. I have had coordinating meetings with the regional directors. They have identified treatment centers. They have identified holding rooms. They have done orientation for a lot of their staff. There's been community education. There have been some even radio mass media education for which we expect them to do more. Currently, we've also given them additional resource pack when they came to go and intensify their work in terms of high materials for education, uh, treatment, updated treatment protocols, so that as, uh, as part of their preparation. The COVID-19 disease has, however, led to a halt in production of goods in some parts of China, a shutdown of school activities in Italy, and a ban on travels in many other countries. As part of intensifying precautionary measures against the disease in Ghana, President Ekufuado on Tuesday announced a ban on all foreign travels by government officials. Business operators such as travel and tour agencies say in as much as this directive is a call in the right direction and demonstrate how severe the disease is, the move will have a toll on their businesses. People are becoming aware. They, they, I wouldn't say fear, but I mean there's an awareness, a great awareness that the, um, the corona is a, is a very big deal. So you would have clients calling in to cancel their flights, cancel hotels and stuff. Obviously you're losing because um, nobody really wants to travel. And mostly Ghanaians travel to these areas that have been greatly affected, like the China, for instance. I have a few clients who always travel to China at least um, bi-monthly. So it's, it, there's a decline, and that's a bit worrying. It's going down because uh, people are really afraid of it. So when they call, that's what they ask first. Uh, are you still doing with their traveling? Should we come? Oh, you see that kind of thing. They, 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 they keep on asking questions. So also get time to explain one or two things to them. And then you see, but it's really going down. For someone to come and even pay for ticket and all that, it's, it's going down. For dealers in electrical gadgets at the Opera Square, although there are goods in stock, traveling to China for another set of goods will be a challenge if the disease is not controlled in subsequent months. Some of my colleagues are running off, you know, goods is shutting, so some of them are looking at different locations to go and get their goods, okay. aside China. We are all scared because we can't go to do business in China. That is where most of us do some of this, our trading from. So it's sort of like, it's scary, but some of them are still inviting us to come over to do business. But we are reluctant. We cannot risk our lives when you talk of coronavirus. According to Hamza Brahima, who operates a forex bureau in Accra, the unending spread of the virus will adversely impact on business transactions. Within these three months that the virus has taken in, a lot of businesses are not going on. And indirectly, it trickles down to us. Because if a customer who happens to go and let's say this area is noted for electric cars, and assuming the, uh, those who are selling electric cars can't even get some of their supplies, Although some of them can send money to them, but at, at times it's better for you to go there and see whatever you wanted physically. Uh. If now you can't go, there's going to be a problem. Although Ghana has not recorded any case of the coronavirus yet, 
Businesses fear running out of stock due to the halt in production activities in China and with the spread of the disease across other countries as well. For some travel and tour agencies, they've already started witnessing a sharp decline in the patronage of their services. Reporting for City News, I'm Ni Ayukwe Okain.